Can you get approved for an apartment with bad credit? Will you need a bigger security deposit? Yes and yes. I help people with bad credit literally all the time. <laughs> and I'm talking bad credit. Multiple evictions, judgments, multiple repos, collection items, charge-offs, credit scores below 400. I can help you out. In the state of Arizona right now, at the time of making this video, they can charge up to a month and a half for a security deposit. So if you have bad credit, they are definitely taking full advantage of that and will most likely charge you that full month and a half security deposit. A couple things when it comes to helping you out with bad credit. One, I need to do a rental screening, a credit and background screening of my own. It's the only cost to what I do. It's $15 cash or $20 on a debit card though that allows me to pull a credit uh, screening of my own to review what's coming up so i know the best place to put an application so we have the best chance for an approval now it's not my decision to make these approvals or denials and so i have no control over that <laughs> that's why i can never guarantee a person will get approved though i've been doing this since 2017 and i'm pretty good at my job <laughs> If there's any risk of a denial, I'm straight up with people. I'll let you know, like, hey, this has everything you need. Though there's a 50-50 chance you might get denied. Do you want to go here? Or do you want to go to the, with this other spot? It's a little bit safer, though it does not have that washer and dryer that you want. The decision is yours to make. I'm never going to pressure anyone into making a decision, though I'll be straight up and let you know how I feel about it all the facts that are involved and then it's up to you though again the reality is i can never guarantee someone is going to get approved though i've been doing this for a long time and i only get paid when someone moves into an apartment so i'm on your side and i've been doing pretty good <laughs> another thing with helping people with bad credit yes i need to run a credit check that's what i need that's the information i need in order to make that informed decision on where we should put that application. And the other thing with bad credit, a lot of times people assume that because they have bad credit that they're not gonna get the greatest options. And that's not necessarily true. Different places, different management companies, different ownerships have different rental criteria and they're willing to accept different things. And just because they accept bad credit doesn't mean that they cannot be luxury apartments. The biggest thing that affects the quality of an apartment is the budget. If you have bad credit, but a really high budget, I can get you into a nice place for sure. 